Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, I am going to be tackling a look that has been requested like a weird amount of times in the last little bit. So I figured I would sell out and go ahead and take a look at it. It'll be a sort of warm 70s halfway faded look. And since it is snowy and cold outside, I figured that would be pretty good. So here is a video that I took this afternoon of me being amazed by the fact that snow exists because I am from Houston, Texas originally, you know, a little tangent out there, and we don't get snow. We get hurricanes and heat waves, which would be a great album name. So if you're a indie band out there, hurricanes and heat waves, you know, that one's free. All right, so what we're going to do to make this faded is um, probably, you know, the way normal people would do it is they go into their curves and they click on the red channel and they bring it up. And that is, you know, boring and lame. So since I learned most of my color grading theory stuff from working in Photoshop, we're going to approach this like I would do it in Photoshop. So you're going to learn some weird stuff today that, you know, not a lot of people do that I've seen. We add a new serial node, then add a new layer node, and then hop over and add another new serial node with Alt S. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn these two nodes into a color solid that we will use to grade from or grade with. So in node two, I'm going to go ahead and turn my contrast down to zero and that'll just make it gray. Hit shift H so you can see what we're doing. Now I just have this gray solid here. And now in node five right there, I'm going to go and move my offset to a sort of warm orangey color. So now that's looking good and you see we haven't done much, but with this node down here, what we're going to do is going to fade it into that color. So you see now, we're getting this cool sort of flat film look. And we will sort of contrast up the original image here. So you can get a little more stuff happening. Maybe bump up the saturation a bit. Not too much though. I think there's a little bit too much blue in there. So I'll hop over to our hue versus saturation curve and just knock that out real quick. Yeah, so it fits in a little bit better. And now you can see really quick, we have this cool, or I should say warm, sort of faded look, which I think is a lot of fun. And you can use this for all sorts of your, you know, TV spots or commercial. You see this, the lighting change a lot during this shot. But, you know, I think that is pretty cool and easy. And then, of course, if you want to, uh, if you're going to add a vignette, go ahead and do that beforehand. So I'll hit Shift S to add a node before our first node. I'll just add a vignette there because it doesn't really matter. It'll work good enough. Uh, the reference images that I got for this didn't really have a vignette, but you know, why the heck not? Boom. It makes everything a little bit nicer. And then we can also add just a little bit of mid-tone detail to sort of pump it up that extra little bit. Let me turn it to five. Nice. And now I am pretty okay with that. So you can see... So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to request a tutorial, I've been getting a lot, you know, all over the place. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and say the best way to do that as of this recording of this tutorial is to go and is to go and post it on the Mesa Media Facebook page with a reference image. And if you look through and you see one that you like, go ahead and like it. That way I have a really easy way to know that it's not my giant Excel spreadsheet of what people wanna see. Also, if you wanna find out really easy ways to spice up your video, be sure to check out MesaNewMedia.com slash products. We got the House Lutz pack, which is fantastic. And we got the Bright Lights Light Leak pack, which is just the best. Oh my goodness. I use it way too much. And no one ever complains, so it's good. Anyway, once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>